Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 24, Fetch XML Liquid Tag. Liquid is a server-side templating language that allows a developer to use common programming concepts like if statements and loops to create the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS that a portal user sees. While Liquid itself is an open source language used in many different products, both ADX Studio and Microsoft have over the years added extensions to the language to give developers portal-specific functionality. One of those is the fetch XML tag. Quite possibly the most powerful of all the Liquid tags, as the name suggests, you can use it to execute fetch XML queries against your Dynamics 365 instance. The fetch XML tag creates a variable, which you can then use to access the results of the query. The return results can be found as an array within the results property of the fetch XML variable you define. You can even use liquid markup within the fetch XML query itself. This is useful if you want to incorporate items like the ID of the current contact or query string parameters into your query. Now that you have the results in an array, you can use a standard liquid for loop to iterate over them and to display them however you'd like. A couple of things to note. The fetch XML liquid tag enforces entity permissions. So if you're running into a situation where a valid query returns no results, make sure you have the appropriate read permissions for the entity you are querying. Also, a maximum of 5,000 records will be returned for any single query. This is a standard fetch XML limitation, and I don't recommend getting anywhere even close to this limit. If you're dealing with a large data set, I recommend checking out Colin Vermander's June 26, 2018 blog, available at colinvermander.com, where he discusses the use of paging cookies. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 24 from Engineered Code on the fetch XML liquid tag useful.